Well, Apple, Thanks, of the world's most valuable publicly traded company, it's no longer worth a trillion dollars. Still, uh, shares of Apple uh, started today below uh, below two hundred dollars a share, down more than five percent. Uh, some some production and supply and demand worries about the Apple's new iPhone. So, what's in store with Apple and tech overall? And can the market rebound big without technology? Joining me now, disruptive tech research founder and chief analyst Lou Bazanis. Uh, Lou. You know, listen, you, you were an Apple bull. You're still an Apple bull after the earnings report. Uh, the stock, though, uh, t took a real serious hit yesterday after one of its suppliers came up short. People are very concerned about Apple. And now, uh, you know, even former bulls like yourself are starting to abandon the stock. Well, I don't want to say I'm abandoning stock by no means. I, I think Apple's trying to find a new equilibrium, uh, and so is the market in turn. You mentioned that in your intro, and that's because Apple's such, it's been the leader of this this rally, this bull market. It's, it has such a huge weighting in so many indexes and portfolios. But here's what I think is key. The analysts are overreacting, in my opinion, to a single data point coming out of Lumentum, which cut its guidance. It's a major Apple supplier. But what they're overlooking is that Apple made a $390 million investment in Lumentum's direct competitor. So this could be, it could prove to be more of a case of Apple diversifying its supply chain as opposed to cutting down on production. And, and this is really, we've seen this happen before. Analysts try and divine the future by looking at a single data point, and many times they find themselves wrong and not yeah. right. I went over that yesterday, just some of the headlines, <laughs> because they happen all the time. So the Taiwan Strait Times reports one of the suppliers in, but to your point, uh, the Dow's about, uh, it's 5%, uh, Apple rather, it's 5% of the Dow, 5% of the S&P, and over 12% in NASDAQ. It just feels like so much uh, weight on one particular company, making it dangerous for all investors. Do you think that uh, whoever cobbles these indexes together maybe have gotten it wrong by putting so much reliance on this one name? Well, look, I think it's, uh, you know, it's the result of Apple performing so well, but I do think we need a new tech leader. I declared the FANG trade dead after Netflix's, you know, just abysmal report uh, in July, and I think we need a new tech leader. Apple, over a trillion-dollar valuation. Amazon breached the trillion-dollar mark. I mean, we need some company that can still grow into a valuation like that, and I think if you have two contenders, they're NVIDIA and Broadcom, um, you know, both up-and-coming right. players that are trading for about a $100 billion market. You just cap. took the words right out of my mouth. I was going <laughs> to <laughs> say, no, NVIDIA, here's the funny thing about NVIDIA, I think it was 2006, Forbes magazine said it was the, the company of the year in the January issue, and the stock dropped 70%. <laughs> but, but the last four or five years, it has lived up to the hype, although the stock down 30% coming into today's session. Uh, you know, so it's still a volatile name, uh, and it would suggest that even if it does take that sort of leadership role, I believe it will too, uh, we can still be in for the kind of volatility that's unnerving. We love it when they go straight up. You know, five bucks a day, ten bucks a day, but not when they're coming down like that, Lou. No, we don't. No one likes the volatility, and I think honestly, Nvidia reports uh, later this week on the fifteenth. Uh, analysts are expecting a little bit weaker report, but it's not the quarter over quarter growth. It's really the multi year growth story. And Nvidia, not just coming coming out of gaming into artificial intelligence, into so self driving cars. Uh, I think that is that has the potential to be the next tech leader. And again, there's a lot more room to grow. Can Apple go from one trillion to two trillion easily? Probably not. But can Nvidia go from a hundred billion to two hundred billion market cap? Much more likely. All right, so Lou goes from loving Apple to looking lovingly, longingly at, at, at <laughs> NVIDIA. I don't I'll know. We it. got a soap opera brewing there. Lou, thanks a lot. I appreciate it. Thanks, Charles.